So in this example, similar to the last one, we'll be dealing with finding a regression function of data that is not linear. Specifically, this is going to be a cubic regression function. We start the same way that we always have. We go to the graph and calculator. To input the data, we go to stat, we go to edit. Now, as you can see, I have already put the data in just to save a little bit of time, uh, but it is all here. Pause the video right now, input the data, start it up when, again when you have all the data in. And now that you have the data in, quit out of the list editor, second mode. Go back to stat, calculate, and because the question has asked us for a cubic regression function, we'll pick cubic. It will look the same on a handheld or the app. Press enter to calculate it out. And again, we get an even more complex model than we have with linear or with quadratics. I'm just going to turn over to a blank slide to write out the equation. In general, we have y equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Filling in specifics, y equals 0.012x cubed minus 0.46x squared plus 6.3x plus 